All right. So hi there. Thank you for joining us for our first Youth Financial Trading Ground pop-up of Youth Month. My name is Jen and this is Gabby. We work for Horizon Credit Union. Just a quick note, everyone has been muted and cameras are turned off, but feel free to use the chat to ask any questions. Today, we're gonna to explore how people make or earn money and what factors to consider when thinking about your future career path. There are several ways to earn or receive money, but for today's purpose, we will look at one of the most common ways, working for an employer. The first step is figuring out what your dream job is. This does not have to be exactly what you end up doing forever, but it'll give you a great starting point. What do you wanna be when you grow up? Maybe an artist, a football player, a doctor, or a scientist. Let's watch a fun video of some kids exploring their different career options. All right, enjoy our friend Junior here. Okay. So I'm thinking astronaut, but also a ballerina in my spare time. Cool. Hey, what are you guys talking about? What we want to be when we grow up. Just think, someday we'll all be working and earning an income. And feeling trapped in a soul-crushing job just to pay the bills. Speak for yourself. My job will be doing something I love. What do you want to be? Oh, oh, I know. I'm going to be a roller coaster tester. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's the best job. Well, it depends on what you mean by the best. Huh? I'm sure you'd be great at it. I just think you have lots of other talents. Really? <laughs> like what? Well, you're really smart, and you're great with the animals. Hmm. <laughs> Turtles included. Remember the time you rescued that baby squirrel? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, maybe I should be a veterinarian instead. Think you would make more money being a vet than riding roller coasters. Yeah, and I guess I would get sick of rides after a while. Or get sick on them. Ew! There are lots of different jobs to choose from, and every job uses different skills. You can even have lots of jobs. You don't have to stick to one thing forever. I guess I want a job that makes a difference. A job that uses your skills. You want a job that makes you happy. And one that will pay the bills. When you put it that way, roller coaster tester does come up a little short. That's okay. So did pizza taste tester. And princess. And dinosaur. What? People earn an income when they are hired by an employer to work at a job. What do you want to be when you grow up? All right, so we'll get our presentation back up here. And, oh uh, boy, I wish I could be a pizza taste tester. It's my favorite food. But like the kids in the video learned, you may find out that some jobs aren't quite as good as they may seem. Like pizza taste tester, your dream job may not pay the bills. Or you might not use your, or it might not use your skills and talents in the best way possible. Remember too, that if a job doesn't work out like you planned, you can always make changes to find a better fit. And just like the kids in the video pointed out, if you want your career dreams to come true, you'll th need to think about three things. The income that you'll need to pay for your needs and your wants, the skills or talents that you already have or will learn, and what are your passions or what do you already know that you love to do? You can think of these things as a recipe to help you find your dream job. First, let's think about income. Income is money. You'll need to have an income to pay for things that you need, like food and shelter, and a lifestyle that makes you happy. Remember, this is important as some jobs may seem really fun to do, but just won't pay you enough to live on. Darn pizza taste tester job. Income is most commonly uh, the money earned when an employer hires you to work at a job. So you may earn a salary, which is a set amount each year, or you may be paid hourly, which means you are paid for just the amount of time that you work. You may even know someone who owns their own business. This is called self-employed. Now, let's ask ourselves, 
does my dream job pay well, or does it maybe have lower pay? Either answer is okay. You may just need to plan a little bit more and be smarter about how you spend your money if you earn less. Our dream job certainly doesn't have to make us rich, but it will need to provide basic necessities like food and shelter, which are your needs, and it will need to be able to pay for a lifestyle that makes you happy, your wants. For example, if you would like to travel often or own a vacation home like a cabin at the lake, you will need to consider the expenses that go along with that. Next, let's talk about your skills. These are the same things as your talents. If you stop and think about it, you likely have many skills and talents. If you can't think of many yet, don't worry. We continue to learn new skills throughout our entire lives. Skills are the things that you do well. Some come naturally to you, while others you will learn and practice over time. Don't worry if some skills take more practice than others. Mastering skills that take practice and hard work will give you an even bigger sense of accomplishment. Now, ask yourself, does my dream job use any of the skills I already have? Maybe you're good at coding, math, or playing an instrument. What other skills might you need to learn and practice? Perhaps you need to work on communication, writing, or listening skills. Finally, let's talk about your passions or what you love to do. This question is often the easiest for most people to answer. After all, you probably have a really good idea of what you love to do, right? Career passion is the positive connection that you have to your work, and it's extremely important. Without it, a job can be boring, stressful, or just plain unsatisfying. I enjoy helping people, which has led me in the direction of my career path. Maybe you already know that you like spending time outdoors, teaching, or working with animals. To help discover your passions, some good questions to ask ourselves would be, what do I like learning about? What do I enjoy doing? Does my dream job match any of those passions? Carefully considering these things will help you find a satisfying career that will make you happy. All right, we've learned a lot in just a little bit of time. Let's summarize all that we have learned about how to make or earn money and how our future career path has a direct impact impact on our income and overall happiness. You will need to have some type of career, usually with an employer, to earn an income. And your career is ideally going to be a combination or recipe of three things. The income you'll need to pay for your basic necessities and a lifestyle that makes you happy. Your skills or talents, the things that you do well or are going to learn how to do. And finally, your passions what you love to do. Thank you for attending the first in our month long series of virtual youth financial training ground pop-ups. Does anybody have any questions? I'm not seeing anything come through yet, but I'm gonna ask a question. Uh, what are some skills or talents that folks that are watching may already have? Please share oh, those. That's a good back. one. Good to start thinking about those things. Oh, I see. I like to draw and paint. So maybe there is a graphic design career in the future there for you. Yes, I know the folks here at Horizon love to draw in the graphic design department, <laughs> and they do a really great job. That is very true. We've got lots of talented folks in that area. So that's a wonderful talent or skill to have already. Okay. Don't see anything else coming through? So we'll just we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> so you guys can continue your financial journey at the financial training ground on hccu.org with the help of a trusted adult, or you can stop by any of our Horizon branches during April to score a cool Youth Month promo item. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you have a terrific day. Thank you so much. Have a great day, folks.